Hi, uh, my name is John Balin. Uh, I'm a professor of linguistics at Stony Brook University and the co-founder and co-director of the NYI Summer School Project. NYI is an interdisciplinary summer school that has been held in St. Petersburg, Russia since 2003, every summer uh, through 2019. Uh, that uh, attracted students from Russia, former Soviet Union, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, and beyond, and the US, uh, to introduce students to a range of underrepresented and interdisciplinary fields that they don't normally have exposure to during their uh, typical academic programs. The faculty at NYI come from a wide range of institutions. Some are based in the US, some are based in Europe, some are based in, in the former Soviet Union, other countries as well, uh, and cover a range of disciplines. So the NYI has traditionally had two primary areas. One of them is theoretical linguistics and cognitive studies, uh, especially generative linguistics. And the other is critical cultural studies, especially media studies, gender studies, race and ethnicity, and other interdisciplinary subjects. So the students uh, come from many different countries and are primarily advanced undergraduates or uh, graduate students some junior faculty and researchers. Uh, classes take place in English, but students come from all different academic disciplines, uh, backgrounds, and in fact, age groups. So it's a very diverse student population uh, with students from practically all over the world. So uh, when we were organizing the 2020 uh, version of NYI to take place in St. Petersburg when the pandemic uh, made that impossible to hold in person. And rather than abandoning the NYI, we uh, decided to try uh, a virtual version of it, the VNYI as we now call it. And it was an experiment, of course, as everything was at that time, uh, a year ago. And uh, it was remarkably successful. Uh, it allowed students to participate from even more countries than had been able to before. There were students from nearly 50 countries taking place in their home countries uh, via Zoom. Uh, everything is synchronous uh, and live. So we tried to recreate the atmosphere of the original MYI uh, through, through Zoom. Um, it was difficult, but it, I think quite successful and successful enough that in the winter, uh, this past January, we held the first ever winter NYI, which would never have been possible if it were not virtual. And that was held uh, in January and included students from 51 countries. So it's starting to attract a, a more worldwide global uh, nature. And that's reflected in some of the courses, especially on the cultural side, that now involve global issues of race and gender, uh, journalism and media and many other naturally comparative subjects, uh, especially those that are particularly important these days. And so we are coming now with the third virtual MYI, VNYI number three uh, for this July, July 15th to 30th, uh, in again by Zoom, again virtual, again accessible to students, we hope, from all over the world. Uh, we have uh, I believe 13 or 14 courses on the linguistics and cognitive studies side and 12 courses on the uh, critical cultural studies side and a series of general lectures and workshops and, and other uh, things of interest. Students can apply very simply through a Google form that's available on the NYI website which is nyi.spb.ru, St. Petersburg, Russia. Um, so it's nyi.spb.ru, and on there is information about the faculty, information about the courses, and information about how to apply. 
fun. Jamie's final comments. Um, we have tried really hard to keep the, the NYI in St. Petersburg had a unique atmosphere of interaction, informality, and yet seriousness of discussion. It's discussion-based, it's interactive, um, it brings in viewpoints of all different kinds, academically, nationally, personally, and so on. And uh, in the setting of beautiful St. Petersburg, that was always a, 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 a real, you know, point of pride of the project was its atmosphere. And we've done our best to maintain that atmosphere in the VNYI context. I think we've done, we've done quite well. We have some amazing new faculty on board and some returning faculty. So we encourage you all to be part of it this summer. And hopefully by 2022, we will be back to St. Petersburg. But please join us this summer for the virtual NYI number three.